Today we will learn about skewness and its different types with real life examples. We went to a college and noted the heights of large number of students. Let's make a line to show their heights. We recorded the heights in inches. The heights recorded between 45 to 80 inches. Let's take the height with interval of 5 inches like 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 and 80. If we plot the number of students on this axis, then this is the data we get. Maximum at 62.5 inches equally distributed on both sides of 62.5, which is the central value in this point is the maximum. This type of distribution is called normal distribution and the data is distributed equally on the both sides of the central value. It is also known as bell curve. The question arises here whether the data is always normally distributed, does it always look symmetrical along some central value? To understand this let's take an example. We have to look at the graph of income distribution per year in a particular region. Consider we have the incomes on this line. Let the income be in thousands of dollars the range going from $10,000 to $100,000. This is the curve which we found. Majority of the people earning somewhere $20,000 to $50,000. There are very few people with less than $1,000 and very few earn more than $100,000. Here the central value is around $50,000. If we observe the figure carefully we can see a long tail extending towards the right hand side of the central value. Since the tail is on the positive side of the central value we say that the distribution is positively skewed or right skewed. It is not equally distributed on the both sides of the central value. This is called the skewness. To understand negative skewness let consider another very simple example. We have a data set of marks scored by students in an easy statistics class test. Let the marks ranges from 20 to 80. In this case the shape of the distribution looked like this. This is the distribution of marks of students. Majority of the students scored between 50 and 80. Here the central value is 50. We see the tail here as well. But this time it appears on the left hand side of the central value. Since it's skewed to the left hand side of the central value we can say that the data is negatively skewed. So we can summarize the whole lecture as. In the normal or symmetrical distribution, the data is equally distributed on both sides of the central value. In this case mean. Median and mode are same or equal. In case of data is skewed it means that the distribution is not equally spaced on both sides. If the tail extending towards the right side of the central value, it is known as positively skewed or right skewed distribution. In this case mean is greater than median and median is greater than mode. If the tail extending towards the left side of the central value, it is known as negatively skewed or left skewed distribution. In this case mean is less than median and median is less than mode. For further interesting videos please visit our YouTube channel.